Now he was also saying to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a steward, and this steward was reported to him as squandering his possessions. And he called for him and said to him, What is this I hear about you? Give an accounting of your stewardship, for you can no longer be steward. And the steward said to himself, What shall I do, since my master is taking the stewardship away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship people will take me into their homes. And he summoned each one of his master's debtors, and he began saying to the first, How much do you owe my master? And he said, One hundred baths of oil. And he said to him, Take your bill, and sit down quickly, and write fifty. Then he said to another, And how much do you owe? And he said, One hundred cores of wheat. He said to him, Take your bill, and write eighty. And his master praised the unrighteous steward because he had acted shrewdly, for the sons of this age are more shrewd in relation to their own kind than the sons of light. And I say to you, make friends for yourselves from the wealth of unrighteousness, so that when it fails, they will take you into the eternal dwellings. He who is faithful in a very little thing is faithful also in much, and he who is unrighteous in a very little thing is unrighteous also in much. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the use of unrighteous wealth, who will entrust the true riches to you? And if you have not been faithful in the use of that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Now the Pharisees, who were lovers of money, were listening to all these things and were scoffing at him. And he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves in the sight of men, but God knows your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is detestable in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were until John, since that time the good news of the kingdom of God is proclaimed, and everyone is forcing his way into it. But it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one stroke of a letter of the law to fail. Everyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery, and he who marries a woman who is divorced from a husband commits adultery. Now there was a rich man, and he habitually dressed in purple and fine linen, joyously living in splendor every day. But a poor man named Lazarus was laid at his gate, covered with sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which were falling from the rich man's table. Besides, even the dogs were coming and licking his sores. Now it happened that the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to Abraham's bosom, and the rich man also died and was buried. And in Hades he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and saw Abraham far away and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried out and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus so that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool off my tongue, for I am in agony in this flame. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your life you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus bad things. But now he is being comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great chasm fixed, so that those who wish to come over from here to you are not able, and none may cross over from there to us. And he said, Then I am asking you, Father, that you send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, in order that he may warn them, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. But he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. But he said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be persuaded even if someone rises from the dead.